Well, we had a really great response to the video that we posted last week where we sat down and had a conversation with Nathan and Marissa from Less Junk More Journey while we were at the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. We chatted about community and making friends on the road. And you may have also seen their video that they posted of all of us sitting and talking about RVing and some of the risks of RVing and working from the road and that kind of a thing, how we got started. If you haven't seen that one, be sure to check it out. Yeah, we had a really great time hanging out with Nathan and Marissa and we actually also shot video of touring each other's coaches and, and giving a little bit of feedback on what we like and don't like about each other's RVs. And the comments we make I think would be relevant no matter what type of yeah. RV you're looking at. And if you do already follow Nathan and Marissa's channel, you're probably very well aware that they've decided to sell their new Mar motorhome already and they've already bought an Airstream, an older Airstream that they're currently in the process of renovating. And so they will be selling their new Mar, but as Mike said, there are a lot of tips that we share in both coaches about what we look for and being full-time RVers, we think there's a lot of really useful info in there for all of you guys. So we hope you enjoy it. Umar 3810. Not seen inside here yet. She just woke up. This is sister Miranda. Miranda. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Oh gosh, you can so tell the family resemble. <laughs> <laughs> She's been a huge Thank help. You. Yes. All right, cool. Well, thanks for inviting us into your coach. One thing we always love seeing is all these people's different coaches and how, how people live differently, get the same lifestyle. And what coaches works best for one person is definitely not best for the other. We'll let her go. Let's, let, let's let her go with Miranda up here. She wants to go outside, Miranda. You got your shoes on the right now. <laughs> We're not used to having a third person <laughs> so, but, uh, we're talking over us. But what we're excited about doing is seeing you guys coach because you all live a similar life to us, but different. And so it's always interesting to see how someone else's rig works for them and what things they love and don't love about it. She pulled out a bucket and fell on it. See, we're saying it makes things a little more difficult. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got a little extra challenge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, uh... <laughs> We, somebody's asked us to have somebody following us around filming us while we film just to see <laughs> yeah, stuff right. like this. That yeah, would be fun for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't know how many times we've done a take. Yeah. Okay. No, we've been into quite a few other new Mars because we love new Mars. It was actually one of our top choices because they have a quality product like Tiff and it's one of the higher quality gas coaches. You know, there's yeah. diesel pushers are always going to be really great quality, but gas coaches we don't see so often. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the hardwood cabinetry and nice quality build. Yeah, take me around. What do you um, I guess the difference is because we've, we've seen your RV too. Yeah. Um, of course, we've got a single slide in here. It is a long slide. Yeah, it's um, big. Which helps and opens it up, but at the same time, we don't get the, it doesn't feel as big when you walk in. Um, at first, we were like, pretty much like we have to have the dual you know, slide in the mirror. But, that was on our list. Um, but this girl on us is okay. And it's one less slide to have to slide out and everything too. So. Well, <laughs> and one of the advantages of not having a curbside slide is that it doesn't you pinch on your patio space. Mm -hmm. One yeah. thing about having a curb size, it definitely shrinks your patio mm -hmm. underneath the awning. That's true. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I like you, I like the build quality of the new Mars. I mean, they've got, um, you know, the leather, the leather furniture and everything like yours. We've got the tan color. I like the white better, but this one works. We're not really fans. Um, this is our day and this is our night. And it's just, mm -hmm. when you put these things up, they like, you're like spending all your time on bunching them, and you don't get airflow, much airflow through here. Right. Um, so that's frustrating too. So I'm sure the newer stuff probably doesn't do that as much anymore, but it's a 2011, and they still did in 2011 at least. Right. Um, we've got our fridge is an eight, just like yours. Um, it looks bigger. It, that's what I thought too when I saw yours. I don't know if it's just you guys have got the, I know, the wood decor on it. I don't know. Yeah. If, I don't know. Does it seem both both of them or just the fridge and fridge? I don't know. It's. That was eight. No, I think it's the same size. I think it's the visual illusion, the optical illusion of the <laughs> yeah. wood. Um, convection microwave oven. Mm -hmm. And it didn't come with an actual oven, but we didn't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we definitely love that. Uh, we wanted to, we love the flat top. I cannot stand when it's coming up over it. You're pretty much losing your counter space because of that. Um, mm. uh, it does have a fireplace. It wasn't a half to, like but it's nice. It's, it uh, gives you the ambiance of sort of a home. And at the same time, it does put out a lot of heat. Um, so we can use that to heat the RV when, we're, when we have hookups. Yeah, electric too. So if you've got an electric yeah. hookup, you're not using your propane. Yeah. So that was something we didn't know we would like. We just thought, oh, cool, fireplace. But we actually really love it. Nice. Yeah. And now I'm surprised that being in 2011, because I only remember seeing those in some of the later coaches, like 2013 onward, 
Yeah, they're mm, different really segment, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that. Yeah, different. Seems like, like the different companies are kind of start incorporating different things at different times and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's, it's in the 2011 on the new motor. Uh, this worked really well for us. This you can actually add another panel in here, and it'll take it out farther, so you could seat four if you wanted right. to. But for us, we like this because with just three of us, we can put her on the end. We can sit here, and then uh, this can double as a desk and things like that. But we never. This is too much. Work. Nice big. Top it's really it nice is. If somebody wanted really. a desk that had the flexibility of also being a booth when they need it and things yep. like that, so it's it's a nice uh, dual purpose uh, you know space for that. So I, I do we like it. I, I like it. I think we like this. Oh, we've been back and forth about the booth, but if you imagine a booth would be all the way out taking that space mm -hmm. permanently, whereas we got a little more flexibility with this. Yeah, and I like absolutely. how deep that is because some of these benches we've seen are very narrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really not very practical, but that's got plenty of space. And when um. And when it's slid in, I mean, we can access everything. It is kind of tight right here in our hallway when this is all slid in. It's about uh, the same as ours. Yeah, that's probably. I mean, you can maybe barely walk through straight. We might have to turn just a little bit. I don't know if that's kind of about what yours is as far as the field. But we can get to, the only thing we can't get to, just like yours, um, we'll look at it in a minute, but the drawers mm -hmm. in the back in the bedroom mm -hmm. uh, is all we can't get to. Uh, You've got the washer. And we do, yeah. Yours. And this is, nice. we're 39, and yours was a 36, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so this is, you know, a couple of. Two or three extra, you know, three extra feet. Then we get storage up here for Hensley's um, spot up here, and then we got a washer dryer combo here. We're okay with the combo. We looked, you know, they obviously have two units sometimes, but I would re way rather have this for space like this for storage and just a combo. Mm -hmm. And it's been great. We've got a vented unit, so I can speak for the vented. It does a pretty good job as far as washing and drying and not taking that long. I've heard the ventless kind of take forever to dry, and there's a few downsides with those. Right. Wow. Yeah, have you guys got the pull-out drawers on yours? I didn't know. We don't. These are nice. Yeah. That is nice. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. You can deep, store too. an yeah. insane amount of stuff in here as far as awesome. pantry space because they do that. Yeah. Um, so the, these all slide out. There's a whole other set over yeah. here that slides out. Oh, wow. Um, you got loads of storage. We had another brand before this. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, Pretty much what they do, and, and it's it's lower end. They're trying to cut, you know save some money and stuff too. But probably you know a lot of stuff we would find. You open it up, and it's just like this is just a cavernous hole. I mean, there's no shelving, no nothing. I um, mean, and, and those you know you get companies like Newmar and Tiffin. They take they go that extra mile and think. Well, of things and not like only is it all wood, but I noticed when you pull that out, it it latches in uh -huh. and it latches yeah. when it's out, so it locks in place. So mm -hmm. you don't have because when you're driving down the road, mm -hmm. you just you yep. start to learn it's, it's what locked. the sound of certain things are. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. get latched down yeah. properly, but that's one of the Exactly. Yeah, we don't have issues of drawers sliding out and then stuff busting it's out. Never Nothing. Yeah. We've never had any issues. And these uh, these as well, I've, um, I've heard people really rave about how good these are as far as the latches. This really does a good job of staying this stays shut. I mean, we've never had any issues of anything opening going down the road. It looks like custom work there. Yeah, yeah. We... Uh, um, you guys have got an office with your space here, and we turned this into a playroom for Hensley. So was this a bunkhouse? Uh, it was a bunkhouse. No, no, this was. A, it had the option for the bunkhouse. This was actually a huge closet. <laughs> so it, uh, it was a wardrobe, um, but this model you had the option of a wardrobe or bunk or whatever. So we took out the wardrobe and uh, put this on hydraulics so it stays up you know, when it comes up. This is like a musician's blanket, so it's super thick and blocks some sound and light and everything for her. And we got a fan for circulation for her. And then uh, we turned this into a mini house kind of theme down here. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. With, you know, we put a, it's a giant magnetic chalkboard so she can draw on it. She can stick things to it. She um, loves it. Try to figure good. out things that could be dual purpose as much as possible. It's great because it, it gives her her own space mm -hmm. and also stops having like as much clutter and mess in your yeah, living space. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she still definitely carries things in the living room sometimes, but, but the majority of it does stay in here and that keeps the RV cleaner and a little bit less clutter. It's a place to throw it all on travel day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our master, similar layout as far as the bed, the direction the bed's facing. Mm -hmm. I like your thing. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> and we went, and that's part of why we chose this too. The decor, much like yours, I mean, we're not 100% crazy about the decor, but it's not, why don't you talk about the decors? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't have been our first choice, but kind of like you guys, it wasn't, it was, it was pretty neutral. Um, you can throw some stuff on it and like how you can make your own sense of style. And we've even talked, we could even paint. I mean, you can paint cabinets and walls. We've talked about it, but we've never gotten around to it. It hasn't bugged us that much, yeah. but uh, yeah, 
And that's kind of the request with RV manufacturers. Just make it, at least make it neutral enough that you can do the pop with what you want to yeah, do the pop with. you can add your own. Uh, don't try to do the pop your yourself. Pillows. Just make it neutral. <laughs> yeah. Make it clean, neutral, smooth lines, and then let everybody come in and whatever they you know. If we, you know this make color. it their home. Yeah. yeah make it their you, home. This is our home. You want to make it, yeah. you want to feel comfortable and you want to like it. Two things I see in your bedroom that I think are really cool that we don't have in ours. Um, I love that it's, I actually really love your colors, like you said, but you have the windows on either side of the bed. Yeah, which you guys is didn't really have that, did nice you? because yeah. when that slide is out uh -huh. and you open both those windows, you get a nice we cross do. breeze. It's a big difference, yeah. Yes. That's and a really talking. nice feature. And we don't do it here because the noise is terrible, but <laughs> <laughs> if we're out in the woods, yeah, I mean, yeah, you get that cross the breeze. The beach. Yeah. We oh, did it yeah. when we camped oh, yeah. at the beach yeah. and it was amazing. It was yeah. this breeze. We even did it in our cabs up there, too, oh, yeah. and we would fight over who got to sit in <laughs> like the captain's seat up there, but it's got, you could hear the ocean and it's got the cross breeze. It's really nice. That's really yeah. nice. Well, yeah. it's such a bright room because you have a window on the back, too. That's yeah. a really rare feature in a Class A motorhome yeah. is having a window on the rear of the coach. That's cool. Isn't it weird, like tiny little things, you know, you're yeah. like, there's a window there, but it does, it brings in so much more light. And she really light. Marissa loves light. It's and we big. walked, you know, this one, you know, felt like it had a lot of light to it. And that's it what, does. That's what we wanted. It makes it feel bigger mm -hmm. that way. It's really um, ours is pretty similar to yours. I think you guys have, I wish ours did that actually. Yeah. You guys have um, clothing storage all the way across, whereas we just got on the sides. We got a hers and a hers. So, <laughs> I'm not going to show you. I don't know if you want to look at it. I've, I've got four little hangers and everything else is folded up. You know, oh, we use the drawers yeah. and everything else. So, um, but we've got the washer dryer, so we don't have to have quite as many clothes because we can, you know, as long as we can get hookups every week or two, we can just do all our clothes at once. This, you know, like your stuff never gets used. We just haven't it. done anything with it. But, um, now you know what you can do with it. Put a little custom <laughs> canvas. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So we could probably create storage here if we want to get creative, I'm sure. Yeah, you um, could. But, but it's been good for what we have. Yours didn't have mirrors, did they? Yep. They did have mirrors. Three. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so that's a good touch. Our sliding doors, yeah. I do like. They're mirrors actually. the locking ones. They Those don't. Are, yeah, yeah, they don't work very well, though. No. Unfortunately. Yeah, we've got to still plug the door and keep it from moving when we travel. Right. Well, I do love that you have the. The doors to be able to block off your space from Hensley's space and also from the front too. Mm -hmm. So you have a second pocket door. I noticed when I was walking back. So. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Uh, We're actually very similar floor plans. It's there, pretty similar. Yeah. There's yeah. some similarities. Yeah. I mean, they both have the rear bedroom. They both have a bunk type space mm -hmm. in the hallway next across the bathroom. They both have the double pocket doors, yeah. and living space. A lot of similarities, and we were. That's what I said when you gave one me the of the more similar number. ones. Yeah. yeah, when you had the model number, but we were. I was looking because I love Tiffin and Newmar as well. I was looking at those two because you get you get the quality build and the support of those companies, but still the affordability of a gas coach. Mm. Yeah, because they don't cut corners. You're still getting the real wood. I mean, and the support. Um, yeah, so it's it's nice. To your point, Nathan, I agree. When you buying a quality product is especially important when you're a full timer. If you're just going out for a weekend here mm. or there. It's no big deal, but when you live in this thing full time, you got to think about how often you're going to open and shut that latch, you know, and yeah. the, like the metal latches on the basement doors or these ones that lock in place and quality is going to really start showing if you buy the, yeah. you know, lesser products. Well, it's not just know. when you're full time, you're, sometimes you're on the road, you're in the middle of nowhere and you can call up Newmar, Tiffin. I know you guys have told me with Tiffin that way and they will, they help you over the phone, whereas other company we've had before that I called. I mean, you get put on hold, you get sent to this person, eventually, you know, you just almost just give up and just have to go to a forum or somewhere else to look for right, help. Right. Um, but you can call these kind of companies and they, they do a good job. Of yeah, it helps support. to have the support, especially when you're newer like us, you know, yeah, when you don't, yeah. you got a lot of time, you know, this is our first RV, there's there's questions. So it's great to have someone mm -hmm. there to, to support you through it. So. When you see one of these, you've seen them all, but they're yeah. a little bit different. <laughs> Yours curved though. That's yeah, yeah. We um one thing we wanted on the shower we didn't get ours didn't have the um didn't have the oh, seat. Okay, well, we'll um, <laughs> ours didn't have the seat in, and we wish it had that. Um, but other than that, as far as the storage here on the side, did, like yeah. us, we right. use this for laundry actually. Yep. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm saying make sure it doesn't okay. have like underwear. Uh, <laughs> there's a blue pair. <laughs> There's a red pair. Just kind of push the underwear. Uh, yeah, yeah so that's our hamper. This is pretty much our hamper, which has worked really idea. well. You know, there's mine and Marissa's, Hensley's, and then we just got, you know, dirty towels and stuff like that down there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's worked. We didn't plan it that way, but it just, it was perfect. This is Hensley's bathtub, and then, you know, 
pretty standard. But a lot of storage. I mean, all this There's is storage. Storage. Pretty much the same as ours, except you've got this extra cabinet mm -hmm. up here yeah. above the toilet. And this is the and this great. is the breaker box too, so you don't get. All of that okay. storage, Ours but but there's still space. some there. You've got a little more space. Your touch, your door is a little bit further back off the front than yeah. ours, so you've got more space here for your shoes and uh -huh. stuff. Yeah. But I I noticed that in the front you don't have the same kind of um, tray that like we don't. It doesn't come back out. No. Yeah. One thing that was kind of a sacrifice for us. Um, I know you guys have got an office space. I I have to just this is pretty much my space. Unfortunately, they can see me while I'm working. Like we, we try putting a sign on the back of this and I try wearing headphones or <laughs> to show I'm working. But when your two year old can see you, your two year old can see you. So sure. it gets tough. And I, I do, I wish we had, um, a lot of them have the desk that kind of folds out where you can reach it from your seat easier. Ours doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. um, I wish it did, but. I do really love that about ours because yeah. I can be doing yeah. editing while we're driving. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of a wish list item. We do feel like we will get a different RV at some point. And so we're making right. notes. It's, it's tough. Well, one more note, while we're in the cab, one note I would make mention of is in our coach, we've got day-night shades that come down on the sides, mm -hmm. on, and when I'm driving, I like to bring down the day shade to take some of that sun off me while I'm driving, while I can still see, which is good. But even more exciting, and something I really recommend watching out for, is having a front power um, day-night shades on the windshield. And so while we're up in the cabin, while you're putting together your wish list for your next coach, something I love on our coach is that we have power shades in the front that are day and night shades. And there's days you're driving into the sun, and I just just lower it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and I can take the sun completely down and see have a nice clear view out of the front. So yeah. do you have, looks like you might have something that comes We have out. a version of that, but it doesn't, yours I'm assuming is big enough that when you, once you park, you can put it down and it covers the whole windshield, right? As it your does. shade. So I wish they'd I done that. I can do while I'm driving too yeah. if I want to push the envelope. And so we can, we can do while we're driving, we do have these motorized shades that can come down, yeah. but they don't cover the whole windshield. So while we're parked, I, sometimes I put them down, sometimes I don't, but they honestly don't help a whole lot. It'd be a lot better to have right. a legit shade. Yeah, and the pleated just uh, kind of is what it is. It, is what it, is. <laughs> it works though. Do you, no, you have a pleated that you can run all the way across the front though. Right? It does. This this wraps all the way around when we wanted to. We opened it for a lot while we did this, but yeah, it can right. go all the way around and they meet in the middle. But they do blocking heat, they're worse. Blocking light, they're worse. Um, the newer stuff's just a lot better for the day. Right. We've seen. It's one other thing we don't like design wise. Not like, much we don't like design wise, but this is another thing. Um, this is a pull-out couch that comes out and when it comes out it comes all the way flush against this right here which you can obviously see the problem with that if you have a guest like we do right now if I need to get outside I'm crawling over the guest <laughs> so um, that's kind of frustrating I wish they made this a jackknife or something like that so right. that it, they could sleep instead of sleeping this way they would sleep that way and we'd have room to walk through here yeah um, the newer ones I've seen it seems like they do more of that but I made that choice not, not a huge crop, but yeah. Um, we well, like, have guests quite a bit. We do have guests yeah, quite a bit. So that's yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. 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 So we don't have guests very often. Overnight guests, you know, it's more like happy hour for six, dinner for four, <laughs> sleeping for two. But we, you know, even though we have capacity for it, we don't usually. Um, have. Yeah. That's why on our wish list for our next one, too, is that overhead bump for us. That's, you know, and that gives you flexibility. We have one kid now. If we have more kids later, you get a whole other sleeping area. Because we don't. That stuff up there, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We can, it's just jackets. Yeah, it's just it's nothing. I mean, it's a wasted space. You know, Compared to those bunks. Yeah. yeah, that's a really good use of space, I feel like. I have one of those. I agree. Cool. Well, thanks for showing yeah, us around. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> bye. You're not going to say bye? Bye. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed the video and got some great tips out of that. Don't forget, we always love to hear from you guys. So put any comments or feedback you have down in the comments below. Love to hear your questions and answer them. And of course, don't forget to jump over and watch the other video posted by Less Junk More Journey on their channel. And we'll pop the link down in the description below.